PPG. What's up, PPGs? We're here with that promise video that we mentioned. It's gonna be the collection video, finally. Finally, dude. It's been like, dude, nine, no, eight years, seven years since we did like a collection video. Yeah. Last one we did was like a hundred bay collection video, and we got like a thousand bays now. That's right. Or since more. then, like we had the like Metal Sega finish, and then the Burst yeah. uh, series started, and now it's like. What, the fifth season of Big Labor yeah. soon? Sparking's coming out soon, like, so, I mean, this has been a long time coming, for sure. We have gone so many bays since the beginning of our channel, it's so hard to actually keep track of everything, so this is a nice glimpse for you guys to see what our day to day life is like um, after today's organization. Yeah, so you guys will be able to see, like, all the stuff that we use pretty much all the time. So this right here is our new tool chest. It's gonna be a pretty significant part of our set, just because, you know, we get to store all our base and all the equipment in here that will make things a lot more organized. So we still have to open it up, so I can't wait. Let's uh, dig in. Alright guys, we finally got it upstairs. This thing weighs almost 200 pounds and we were like, you know what, we're swole, we're gonna do it, it's easy. And then as soon as we started lifting it up the stairs, like, all right, we're about to die, jokes <laughs> on us. Flashback. You gonna be good? Oh my god, my fingers. Me too. Hang on, stop for one second. You can set it down on the stairs. A few inches later. Okay, bring it back down. Bring it back down? Yeah, one second. Okay, go. Wait, 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 wait. don't, don't, don't. don't. Oh it was at this moment that he knew. <sighs> you almost killed me when you slipped. So yeah, I finally made it up here. It took us a really long time to get it up. You guys have no idea. Dude, I can't believe it's that good. heavy. Yeah. And it doesn't plus, look 200 pounds. Well, we have stairs, yeah. so that sucked. Yeah, so yeah, basically what we're, we're gonna do now is just start filling up these drawers with our main collection. And then, yeah, we're gonna show you guys all the goodies, basically. And it actually comes with some lining, which is really nice. I was surprised, actually, that this was included. But yeah, ooh, some nice lining to really make things presentable. Put all of our precious bays on here. Good protection for the base. Yeah, and it doesn't scratch up the, the tool chest very much either. So yeah, this is sweet too. Like the top part is nice because we will be able to put like stadiums on here and all the other stuff or we need to make a combo, we'll just like pull it up just right there. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, all so right. guys, we have a bunch of stuff like laid out right now. It's kind of messy, but uh, I'm really glad that we're finally doing this collection video because it forces us to actually organize things to show you guys. Yeah, a long time coming for sure. You guys mentioned in other videos that uh, you guys like like the new sleek, kind of more clean setup. So we're trying to keep that a little consistent, you know? We want to keep things a little more organized for you guys. But, That's uh, right. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get it. So yeah, we'll basically put our main collection into that tool chest. This is not even like half the bays, honestly. We took out so much already. Yep. There's this so many other bays. What's from our uh, mystery bag? Video. Yeah, and this is already basically dumped out already. So we have and a lot more. more stuff here, more stuff there, Man, more stuff downstairs, use... and exactly. in the archives. These are just the main stuff that we use. You should see the storage space full with a bunch of stuff. Man, we have a lot to show you guys in the future. If we try to fill everything in this room, I don't think we'll be able to walk through the room at all. So. Yeah, for real though, there's so much stuff. So we're just gonna feature most of our stuff in this video. You guys might have recognized this setup, the bay chest from our other videos when we went to VidCon and I think Care Expo, they featured the bay chest at the convention. So we thought this was actually a really nice way to you know, organize your equipment and stuff like that. So we know like the bays here like that. We might be able to like take the parts out and then like lay them out. So I don't know how we're gonna do it yet. So we will have to grab all our stuff and we'll start organizing everything.
guys, so we just finished with the organization. That took so long. Dude, that was actually hours. You so, guys only saw a few minutes of footage, but that actually took hours. Exactly, we had so many boxes of things such as like, okay, unload, unload, unload. And surprisingly, it actually fit in here pretty well. Like obviously, it's not every single item, but this is gonna be the setup that we're gonna use every single day. So we wanna make sure that all the like the GT bays are gonna be in here, all like most of the metal fight are gonna be here, so that way we can compare with all the new burst versions and stuff like that. So on the top, we have a couple stadiums, Keratomi Stadium, Hasbro Stadium, basically things that we use most often. We have like, what, 20 stadiums left still in the basement somewhere in the archives. So we wanna make sure that we have our main stuff here because we use these basically every single day. All right guys, let's dig in. One of the coolest feature of this tool chest is it's actually like lockable. So you can see, keeping our base secured so no one like comes steals it. Nice and safe. Our most precious collection. That's right, okay, so. Up here is our main stuff. Let's reveal it. Yo. <laughs> what do you guys think? This has all of our like newest releases. The stuff that we use most often, we can grab it from this top drawer. It's so nice to be able to actually see everything at once. Because sometimes we struggle with like finding the right bay and we don't know where things are. It's like, is this a Hasbro one? Is this a Keratomi uh, drawer? Um, where's like the tip for this specific bay, right? Like, it's like, where are all these things? We now have a system in place. So these are gonna be like the newest Takeratomi stuff. So yeah, these are all the Takeratomi stuff in its original parts. We tried to keep like the main releases, all the original colors up here because we use those most often. Um, do you guys spot any like mistakes that we accidentally put some Hasbro Bay up here? I don't know. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, let's check out all these GT Bays over here. Yeah. So this is like the stuff we'll be grabbing most often on, on this the side. On the right side, like the yeah. newer releases. Yeah, and then mixed in there, we got like turbo stuff. Then, you know, further you go to the left, like there's some evolution. Then you might even spot some dual layer stuff. Yeah, we also left some of the limited edition stuff in here too. Yeah. Because uh, we thought that we would be wanting to see them more often. This is not even the whole thing too. We just figured like this is, you know, a big enough bulk of them to fit into here. It looks really nice. Yeah, honestly, before we started the collection video, we were gonna count every single bay to see how many we have, but uh, I think we kind of lost count. So maybe you guys can help us out here. Uh, how many bays do you guys spot in this bay chest? <laughs> this is, remember, this is just the top layer too. This is like the ones we use the most. Pause this, count them, let us know. So what do you guys think about our layout right now? We have everything like together, but I'm not sure if you guys remember, but when we went to Care Expo and VidCon, the same bay chest setup, everything was like apart. So I don't know, if we take everything apart, it might actually look even crazier, but that just means that we also have to like spend time putting them all back together afterwards. So I don't know if we have time to do that and it might be like a little bit too messy, but what yeah. do you guys think, apart or together? Yeah, layers at the top drawer and then maybe like drivers and discs in another drawer. I think I like it this way. I like seeing all of our collection basically just put together here. It looks yeah. amazing. We try our best to keep everything together so that way we don't have to actually go back and try to fix them. If we want to customize, that's when we can actually bring it on the top area here. Uh, check this one out here. Is our other parts. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but at the same time, I think uh, if you play with your Beyblades, if you don't just like stare at them, this is gonna happen. It's part of the fun, seeing everything like apart. So we have some of the spare parts and the other uh, things like layers, uh, discs, we have drivers over here. Some Hasbro, some Takara Tomy. And yeah, so, we have like random layer and random booster parts in here too. Yeah, most of these are apart just because they came like that. So for example, Poison Hydra layer didn't come with any disc or performance tip. So in that case, we left it like that. Um, there were also some like really rare parts like this gold, you know, prize layer. That's from the tournament and stuff like that. We keep them here. And also if you want to customize anything, we also come and dig out our other parts from this area. And then um, these are the other bays and like random booster, the older ones that we don't use as often anymore. So we just keep them nice and clean. So of course that's all our Takara Tomy stuff, but let's not forget about our Hasbro boys. So of course the drawer beside it, all of our Hasbro burst bays. Let's not forget about them. So we got our Slingshock bays, we have Hypersphere bays in there, we even have our Evolution bays. 
So when we actually want to, you know, battle with rails or, you know, drop in in the vertical drop base stadium, we're going to use this drawer. It's got all the Hasbro stuff. Now, to quickly take a look at another super sick drawer, I think this one's like our second best drawer. The top drawer, definitely hands down the best drawer. It's got all of our sickest base, but this one, I like this one a lot too, because I'm a pretty big fan of all of our accessories. Any launcher you want, boys. Bam. Any launcher you want. It's time to party. So, we can actually have a Beyblade Marathon party. Look at this, we have enough launchers for a billion friends. We got digital sword launchers, we have regular sword launchers, dual spin string launchers, left spin string launchers, and then of course we have some long versions too, so this is like a right spin long version. Yep, we Any actually want. kept all the regular launchers away from this just because we usually don't use those ones, so this is basically like our go-to. Exactly. If we're going to grab a launcher and actually battle with, this is the joy that we're going to end up using. And of course, you can't forget about the accessories. All of our launcher grips, we have bay loggers, look, knuckle grips. We have like our power triggers in here too, right? Carabiner grips, we have everything in here. Yo, you want to make your Thanos launcher? Yeah. A Thanos launcher, our purple one. Yeah, we even color coded it. Look at this, you guys. Blue grips, red grips. But yeah, we have a few ripcord launchers over here, like, you know, just in case, because, uh, like, you know, some people like winders, so why not? Gives us some options. All right, we still got more drawers to open and show you guys. So, next up, Metal Fight Drawer. This has all of our Metal Fight Bays, uh, the main ones that we've used in the past. So you have stuff from Metal Fusion, right? You have from Metal Masters, and of course we got 4D Bays in here too. We chose to keep the Zero-G stuff out from this one just because we actually have like a whole nother collection of Zero-G. We gotta prioritize, guys. And honestly, these ones are the go-to's because we have to compare these with the first remakes. Yeah, and I feel like also the Metal Fight Bays, we were having a little bit harder time of organizing it just because they are a little bit older and we didn't really have a system back then. Yeah, they don't have like, some of them don't have original parts on there, most of them do. But yeah, for all you OGs that battled back in the Metal Fight days, this drawer's for you. I think it looks pretty sick still. Pretty awesome collection. Definitely. Moving right along, probably our smallest collection, guys, is our plastic generation. So we have a few plastic generation bays. We still have a bunch that are unopened that we, ha that we actually haven't unboxed yet. Um, and this drawer basically has the plastic gen and some launchers from Metal Flight and from plastic gen. Yeah, we actually didn't want to keep too many plastic gen in this bay chest, just so it doesn't take up too much space because our burst bay collection is still growing, guys. Exactly, yeah. So like, we got to prioritize there. The burst bays obviously get priority, so we have to limit the space for some of the generations here. But overall though, look at these rev up launchers, guys. Bring back memories or what? Best some of the launchers. sickest launchers still. Wish they made these for burst bays. All right, let's close that up. Now we got the bottom two drawers, which is uh, kind of like a constellation drawer for everyone. This is a bunch of bays that we actually use to store a bunch of new products. So we have burst bays in here, we got metal fight bays in here. Uh, look at this. Ooh. Dude, Legends, man, Diablo yeah, Nemesis. So yeah, we actually have like so much random stuff. We have Hypersphere stuff in here. Look, we got Switch Strike as well. Just unopened basically. So we'll keep these for collector purposes. And this is just a drop in the bucket, guys. We have like hundreds of more unopened products that we couldn't really show you in this one because otherwise you'd just be staring at a bunch of unopened boxes. But let us know if you guys want to see a video on that as well. We have so many new products that we're thinking like, oh, sh we'll give some away or maybe we list them up on the store. Basically, if we just wanted to feature our unopened products, it would fill this whole chest and more. So really the point of these two drawers, I think are just bays that we want to open, maybe perhaps unbox again, like to make videos, uh, but we just haven't gotten around doing it yet. So for example, Dronzer V, right? And look, Storm, Storm Pegasus, Pegasus, OG. The original one from Takira Tomy. Yeah, we so have so many collectibles in here. Some stuff that we just uh, might need easy access to, basically. Or I guess you could also call this like a prize drawer, like a prize chest. Yeah, future giveaway stuff in here too, for sure. Alrighty guys, so that's basically it for our big chest, everything that's in here. So looking pretty sweet. I am impressed and I am so happy to finally have an organized system yeah. to, uh, to continue our videos. Not just having a bunch of bays on the table and stuff. It's uh, looking really good now. I feel like that's still gonna happen, but uh, less of that now. Exactly. All right guys, let us know in the comment section below, out of this top drawer right here, 
if you could pick any bay to battle with right now, which one would it be? Yeah. Pause this, and then you can see all the bays. If you guys were to join our like bay marathon battle right now, what would you guys pick? I see this Storm Pegasus. I'm gonna pick this guy. Nice. Right here. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Brendan? For me, out of everything, the color scheme on this Chosey Spriggan, dude, it just stands up the most, man. It looks so good. Sweet, let's battle. So Don't forget cool. to pick a bay launcher. Nice, and the accessories. Dude, I'm all about the blue theme, man. Like, my usual setup, right here. Blue launcher, grip. My favorite launcher was likely the first gen sword launcher. Yeah, I'm all about the string launchers. So, the blue one, the long right spin blue one. Dude, this is so awesome. We can like customize our launcher setup anytime we want to. Alright guys, that is it for our video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and of course drop a like because honestly, this video is sick. Yeah, this was like our first time revealing our whole collection, I guess. Yeah, like the main part of it anyways. That's true. Yeah. I'm so glad we're finally done organizing because that took ages. Yeah, it honestly took so many hours to get the whole video done and everything like that. Yeah, and we didn't even have a chance to count how many bays were in that bay chest, so maybe you guys can help us out. Yeah, maybe like pause it throughout the video and then just like count them like one, two, three, four, and then let us know. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, guys. That that's a lot of work. But yeah, we honestly don't even know how many bays we have in that bay chest, so we'll count one day. Yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. So make sure you slap the like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And that's it. As always, peace out.